Welcome to Ancon Network, where you get updates of things happening around you and things you would like to know. I appreciate everyone who has subscribed to this channel and those who are yet to subscribe. And if you have not subscribed, what are you waiting for? Click the red button and also click the bell icon so that you'll be notified anytime we publish any news. This time around, we have wonderful news for you that you'll be glad that you are aware of. Stay tuned. The 2019 governorship candidate of the People's Democratic Party, PDP in Lagos, Mr. Jimmy Agbaje, has denied allegations made by the state party leader, Chief Olabode George, that he, Agbaje, has defected to the All Progressives Congress, APC. In a statement made by his media AD, Felix Obagwina, Agbaje said George's comments in an interview published in Daily Sun yesterday that he, Agbaje, has joined the APC should be discountenanced. He also accused George of plotting to chase away from the party in order to take control of the party structure ahead of the 2023 governorship election. In the interview, George said Agbaje was part of the ruling party in Lagos State from inception and alleged that there were indications he has since defected to the APC. Agbaje replied, People should please tell Bode George to shut up and leave PDP if he lacks any value to add to the party instead of being a dog in the manga hampering the progress of the party in Lagos State. George should tell the world where he got the news is spreading around. These party leaders have 2023 in mind. The game plan is mischievously simple. Give the dog a bad name and chase it away from the party. By 2023, this slinging would have scared off credible people from the party, which would leave the whole feed to them to continue to corner the party's resources. I am too big to sneak out of one party into another, and the reality remains that I have not left PDP for any other party, least of all APC. These are people who feel that they want to continue business as usual within PDP. All their interests revolve around sharing campaign election funds without giving any thought to how to elevate the party's chances at the polls or adding value to the process. Agbaje added that as long as the PDP national headquarters continues pampering the divisive characters and pander to their whims, the party will continue to fail in elections in Lagos State. Wow, these are really strong words from Agbaje. From the way Agbaje was talking, you could see that he was really, really hungry. With this counter and counter accusations, who do we believe? Agbaje is saying he has not defected and accusing Bode Judge of having interest only on the campaign funds. That means there is huge money in that place. That body judge is just trying to chase credit people away in the party because of 2023 governorship election so that they will be able to share the campaign funds and every other thing that is accrued to the party. And body judge is saying that Agbaje is meddling with the ruling party, meaning it cannot be trusted. But like what Agbaje said, that body judge is trying to make sure that credit people in the party, you know, are being chased away. That is why it's using all these uh, tactics because of a 2023 governorship election. If I may get Agbaje very well again, does it mean Agbaje is still interested in contesting in 2023 under PDP as governor? I thought maybe by now he would have given up. Well, see then, but for what he has said now, meaning he still has an interest in contesting in 2023. But if they don't put their house together, what happened or what has been happening before now will still be what they are going to get at the end of the day. For Lagos now, we have a lot of caliber people in there from Bode George, Agbaje. They are all responsible people. They are all, you know, Simba and caliber sets of people. If they cannot put themselves together, I don't think they will be able to get that governorship race they are looking towards because when you see Lagos from inception, it has been APC ruling the state. And it will be a good thing if other party comes in and do different things. You can't be doing one thing at the same time or every time you expect different results. And like they always say, variety is the spice of life. Let us see the other side of other parties. We have seen enough of APC. So it will be better for us to see other people coming in and let us see how they are going to govern Lagos. Let us see new things they are going to bring into Lagos. It's like Lagos is just revolving around the same thing. 
just like the way they were accusing themselves. Of course, they are all from Lagos. In one way or the other, they must have started with the ruling party. It's possible. You might not be able to take away that. But as time went on, everybody just felt that okay, we have to go to different, we have to go uh, different ways, you know, by going to other parties and all of that. But from what Agbaje is telling us now, that he's still in GDP, GDP, nobody can take him away. That he cannot even go to any other party, let alone APC. That means if any party crosses his mind, not even APC, that means he has pegged APC, that APC is a no-go area. According to what he said, not my words. And Agbaje is still saying that if they still continue in this their divisive method, that they might not be able to get what they really want in Lagos. With all of this, I just think they just have to come together instead of washing their dirty linen outside. As powerful as PDP is in the country, I think they are supposed to be pulling ground in Lagos. But reverse is the case. We have a lot of big guys that have really left PDP and went back to the APC. Like the former chairman, he left some months or some even weeks, if I could remember, to the election, to the general elections. He left Salvador or Sabado. I'm sorry if I'm not pronouncing the names very well, but it revolves around that area. That name revolves around that area. If they could be losing a lot of those kind of people, how are they going to come together to be able to move the party forward? Just like a body judge said some days back, he said, gone are those days that they will just bring anybody from the center and impose on them that they know what they, they know themselves that he knows or they know their house more than every other person. So we don't know those are the center. Agbaje is like a body judge is still part of the people from the center. So if they cannot put themselves together or they cannot put their house together, APC will be taking advantage of them. And some of the people that are really in the PDP will be discouraged. You see that most of them will be going back to the APC. So everybody has a is our own opinion. Everybody has a right to go to any party he wishes. But it's a good thing that we have a different type of governance, different type of party taking up the responsibility of governing Lagos. Lagos is a center and a sensitive state as far as Nigeria is concerned. So guys, that's just my own opinion concerning all of these things. If there's anything that you want to add, if you feel indifferent, I would like you guys to put down your comments in the comment section and let's learn from you and rub mice together. Thank you very much for always being there. Bye.